Guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to offer you my personal top 10 favorite websites for WordPress users. These are websites filled with resources that WordPress users can use either to enhance the functionality of design or even the security of their websites. Plus, some of these websites will also contain access to a variety of free images, free files, icons, graphics, and even invoices that they can use for their business. So without wasting any more time, Let's jump right in. So the first website on our list here is going to be whatruns.com. It's not exactly a website. It's more of an add-on that you can add as an extension either to your Brave browser or your Google Chrome browser. Now, what it does is that it lets you know the kind of theme and plugins that are running on a WordPress website. I'm pretty sure as a WordPress user, you must have failed this way before. You see a WordPress website and you're thinking to yourself, what kind of theme is this website using? What kind of plugins? is this website using. So what this extension does is that it will let you know. Now to demonstrate, I am on my personal site in here, webbunkeracademy.com. And let's assume that I am a stranger. I don't know the kind of theme Alex is using or the kind of plugins Alex is using on his own personal site. I'm gonna go ahead now and run the extension. So I'm gonna go over here to my extensions, click on what runs. And right now you can see that the add-on has said, okay, Alex is using the Astra theme on his website, which is true. He's using WooCommerce, Elementor, Elementor Pro, the Astra add-on, Active Campaign, and so on, which are all accurate. So if you ever want to know what kind of theme or plugins a WordPress website is using, be sure to make use of this extension. The next website on the list here is going to be tinyjpg.com, tinyjpeg.com. Now, as WordPress users, we all know that image management is essential for ensuring that your website loads as quickly as possible. You want to make sure that your images are as compressed as much as possible without actually losing any quality. So what this website does is that it allows you to upload your images for free. And what it will do is that it will try to compress those images to the smallest possible size without losing any quality. So basically, you get the smallest image sizes, which will of course ensure that your website loads as quickly as possible. So if you ever wanna make sure that your images are compressed to the maximum without losing any quality, be sure to check out tinyjpeg.com. Now let's talk about where you can access free images, videos to use on your WordPress website. There are a ton of websites out there, but my personal favorite is pixabay.com. This is a site I've been using for a very, very long time. In addition to photos and videos, they also have access to free music, illustrations, and even vectors that you can use on your personal website. So if you're ever looking for free images to use, videos, illustrations, be sure to check out pixabay.com. Next website is going to be managewp.com, and this is a great website if you're somebody who runs or manages multiple WordPress websites. The idea behind this site is that it allows you to manage all these WordPress websites from a single backend. So rather than you having to log into each individual website, update the plugins or themes or do some troubleshooting, you can do everything from a single location. Now, as a very quick demonstration in here, I have two of my websites, the Cool Store and WebMonkey. So I can click on any one of these sites right in here. I can change the title. I can go over to even the overview and take a look at all the plugins on my websites and check out which one needs to be updated. I can also do the same for like the users on my site, change the administrative privileges and so on. I've actually done a full tutorial on how to use this wonderful tool. I'll have the link in the box if you're interested in the video. Let's move on to some more free stuff. And the next website in here is going to be flaticon.com. And just like with Pixabay, this particular site gives you access to nearly 8 million vector icons and stickers that you can use on your personal WordPress website. I'm, on, I'm in here on the homepage right in here, and you can see we have access to logos, stickers. I'm going to click on logos in here as an example. And right in here, you can see the top trending logos. Let's say, for example, I like global link. I'm going to click in there. And right in here right now, I can get access to the PNG version of this image or even the SVG version of the image if I wanted to. I can simply go in there, click on the size I want to download and then right in here, just click on free download and I'm gonna get the logo which I can then use on my own personal site. So it is a great website for not just logos, keep in mind, but also for like icons, stickers and so much more. So be sure to check out flaticon.com. Next website on this list has to do with security and that's going to be haveibeenpawned.com. This is one of my all time favorite websites for security because what it does is that it can let you know whether your email address or password has been exploited in a security data breach. As an example in here, I'm going to paste my Gmail address in here and I'm going to click on pond. And right now it's telling me that my email address has been compromised 
in eight data breaches. And you can see these are the eight platforms where I created an account using my email address and those websites have been compromised by a security data breach. What's more is that if you go to the notify me link up in here, you can add your email address, verify that you're not a robot. And what will happen here is that whenever your email address gets compromised in a data breach, the website will actually inform you. And I've actually done a full tutorial on how to make use of this particular tool on my other YouTube channel, Lab Cyber. I'll have a link in the box below if you're interested in learning more how to use this wonderful tool for checking whether or not your email address has been compromised or even if your passwords have been compromised, be sure to check out the video. Next website on the list here is going to be themeforest.net and there's a very good chance that you must have heard of this particular site because it's one of the all-time most popular, one of the classic websites for WordPress users. It's basically the Amazon for anything WordPress related and in fact anything web design or web development related because in here you have access to hundreds of thousands of files that you can use on your WordPress website. As an example, up in here, I could go to WordPress, take a look at all the different kinds of themes for different kinds of websites. I can click on popular items as an example and take a look at the items that are actually trending. So right now you can see Avada, very, very popular theme is trending. I can scroll down in here, take a look at Flatsum, B theme. I could go up in there, click on Elementor, take a look at the template kits that I can get for Elementor, check out the pricing. And of course, HTML as well, even Shopify. Maybe I want a Shopify website. I can come in here right now, get different kinds of templates, plugins, and so much more. So it's basically, like I said, the Amazon for anything WordPress related, anything web development related. If you haven't checked out themeforest.net, you should because in here you will have access to hundreds of thousands of files, plugins, themes, kits, audio files, graphics, photos, and so much more. Be sure to check out themeforest.net today. Next website on this list is going to be purely for inspiration and that's going to be dribble.com. You will need to create a free account with them before you can access the design concepts in here. But if you're ever looking for inspiration for your next big web design project, be sure to check out dribble.com. Now I have created my free account in there and right in here where you have the search bar, I've typed in web design, I pressed enter. And now in here, I have access to different types of web designs from different kinds of websites. Let's click on in here, the Gloucester agency. Very, very interesting concept. You can see the main header right in here. You have like the main menu, but then you have the logo in between the main menu. Very, very interesting concept. You can take a look at some other pages from this particular web design. Pretty interesting, cool stuff. I'm going to go back and then in here, you have access to web design, typography. Okay. But then up in here as well, we have landing page. What's that? I'm going to click on landing page. And let's see what this brings out. Oh, this gives us access to different types of landing pages. Let's take a look at the very first one in here. Hello Lab. Okay. Take a look at this. This is very, very, very interesting concept. The logo, the main menu, you have the hamburger menu, and then you have the contact us button in the header. Interesting. I'm going to go back in here. And of course, in here, of course, I, I can take a look at different types of web design. So if you're ever stuck with like creativity, you're trying to like inspire yourself. Okay. You know, what's going to be the design for this particular kind of project. Be sure to check out dribble.com. Like I said, you will need to create a free account with them. But once you've created your account, you'll be able to access different kinds of designs and take a look at different kinds of pages and get some inspiration for your next uh, web design project. The ninth website on this list is going to be, of course, gtmetrics.com. And I'm pretty sure you must have heard of this site. You've probably used it hundreds of times already. If you haven't, or you don't know what website this is, it's one of the best websites for testing how quickly your website actually loads from different locations. So there's a few other websites out there that do something very, very similar. M but my personal favorite is GTmetrics because it's very, very easy to use. The interface is quite easy to follow. Plus the results are often very, very accurate. So if you ever want to learn or discover how quickly your website loads from different browsers or different servers around the world, be sure to check out gtmetrics.com. And the last website on this list is going to be for freelancers who want to be able to create free invoices for their customers. Introducing Zoho.com, free invoicing software for small businesses. So if you're somebody who deals with clients and you want to be able to create like professional PDF receipts for them, professional PDF invoices for them, Zoho Invoice is one of the very best out there. Let me give you a very, very quick demonstration. I have created a free account with them. So this is basically the back end. All I need to do right now is just to go over here to invoices, click on new invoice. And then in here, I can fill out all the information, choose my customer, 
add the invoice number, the order number, the invoice date, things like that. And of course, I can add the items that I'm charging for, the quantity, rate, discount if possible, and even tax if applicable as well. And once I'm done with all this information, all I would need to do is just either click on save as a draft to modify later, or I can click on save and send, and my customer will receive a professionally generated invoice from Zoho. And like I said, this is great for freelancers. If you're somebody who does freelance work for different kinds of customers or businesses, and you want to have that professional touch when it comes to the invoices that you send to them, be sure to check out Zoho Invoice today. So that's it guys, my top 10 personal favorite websites for WordPress users. And of course, like I said earlier, this list is very, very subjective. So if you have your own personal favorite websites, be sure to list them down in the comment section below. Are there any websites that you feel I need to check out for myself? Be sure, to, be sure to let me know. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed today's video, of course, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with anyone who you feel might benefit. And of course, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell so they're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.